My dear sisters, you see this statement, his money is our money and my money is my money. It is going to put a lot of women in trouble. Hey, don't say I don't want you guys. Oh, it is going to put a lot of women in deep regret and sorrow. I hate to be the harbinger of bad news. Okay, I hate to do that. But the truth of the matter is that out of all of you that are married that are watching me today, at least... 20% of you are going to be divorced before you die, okay? Like, before the end of your life. Your marriage is going to end in divorce. I hate to say this, I hate to say this this way, but I'm not even trying to be insensitive or, or whatnot because, again, we don't even know the 20% of these people. And I'm even giving 20% as a conservative figure because according to the US statistics, the percentage of marriages that end in divorce are 50%. Yeah, 50% of marriages end in divorce in the US, in some countries, in some societies, that figure is less. That is why I am, in my head, calculating that 20% of people that are watching me, because people watching me are from different you know, countries of the world, US, Canada, America, um, Nigeria, and other African countries as well. Anyway, so my point is that at least 20% of some of you that are watching me today, are, your marriage is going to end in divorce. And I feel like we should all prepare for it, okay? Because we don't know who the 20% are. Some of you might know that you're among the 20% based on how your marriage is going now, based on how you met your husband, based on how your relationship is going with your husband. You might be suspecting that you are among the 20%, while some other people, it is going to hit them like a ton of bricks, you know, out of nowhere. Like if you used to watch our olden days cartoon, you know where that big anvil will just fall on somebody's head out of, from nowhere. It's going to hit some of you like that. So I believe and I feel like many of us should actually... In fact, I feel like all married women... Okay, this might sound bleak. But I feel like all married women should prepare for divorce. Okay? Just prepare for it. Hope for the best. Pray for the best. Walk towards the best. But let's not catch you on our ways, Okay? Because the reason why it might catch you on our ways is when you are not prepared for it. But if you are prepared for it, yes, you might be heartbroken. Yes, you might be sad but you will not harbor as much resentment and bitterness in your heart when you actually prepared for it, even when things are rosy, okay? I'm not trying to say that, you know, you should go and destroy your marriages or your marriage must end in divorce or whatever because trust me, yo, I am someone who loves love. I'm a sucker for love. I love love. I love marriage. I'm not a very expressive person, but I love love. I love marriage. I'm one of those women that proudly say, I need a man, okay? Some people say, oh, I don't need a man. I just want him. He's a want. You got your I don't work. need a man. I don't need a man, huh. but guess what? I want you, and that's the difference. Sister, let's stop deceiving ourselves, okay? Same difference. You need a man, you want a man. Same difference, because some of you are chopping the most absolute shit from the man that you say, I don't need a man, I want a man. Why are you there? Why are you chopping that shit there? You could have walked away 10 years ago, 5 years ago, 2 years ago, but you did not walk away because, oh, I don't need a man. I don't need a man to take care of me. I don't need a man to do anything for me. I just have a man because I want a man. I beg of the severe yourself. <laughs> you need that. You need that, okay? So I'm one of those women who proudly say, I need a man, okay? I'm, not, I'm one of those people that I feel like if my marriage ends, I'm going to marry another person. God forbid my marriage never ends. I see myself marriage my husband for the rest of my life. But if it doesn't work out for whatever reason, I'm going to marry someone else. I'm always going to be married. I'm one of those women that I'm always going to be married. I need a man to take care of me. I need a man in my space. I need a man in my life. I need a father for my children. I don't want a broken home. <laughs> like... <laughs> Some of you might be saying what's wrong with this one, but seriously, I like to say it because I feel like we always hear one narrative and they try to force it down on us that we must all accept that one narrative. No, all women are not the same, okay? And I don't think that it's a bad thing to admit that you need a man because men, a lot of men don't even have a problem saying that they need a woman, okay? You see a lot of men that will say, in fact, society expects men to need women. That's why a man will divorce today or his, um, something happens to his spouse, maybe his spouse leaves him or his spouse dies or, you know, is ill. Even while his wife is ill, a lot of, the society will be telling the man, ah, this one, your wife is sick and she can't do anything, you know, you have to find someone else. So you find another woman that will keep you busy, that will keep you company. You need to, if, you, if, he's a, if the man is a widower, you know, they're already looking for a wife for him, like ASAP. The woman's body is not even cold yet. They're already looking for another wife for him ASAP. That's if you didn't even have somebody on standby before the woman died, right? You know, so you see a man who is divorced. Nobody expects a man that is divorced to, you know, remain single for a while. Everybody's like, ah, when are you moving on? People, men are not afraid and society is not afraid to, you know, 
tell a man or to admit that men need women. So why do women always feel like if you say you need a man, that means you are weak at this? I don't care what anybody thinks, okay? Call me Pachaki Princess, call me Pick Me, call me uh, whatever, Man Pleaser, or whatever you want to call me. I don't care because the truth of the matter is that I need a man, I want a man, and I'm always going to, I'm always going to have a man. Period. Point blank, period, okay? Because this is yummy mommy. <laughs> I said going off tangents. This is not what I came here to say, okay? But seriously, I don't want stress in my life. I don't want I'm one of those people that I just want to have a good life at someone else's expense. I don't care who it is. <laughs> I don't want it to be me. I don't I don't find spending my money fun. I don't find doing things for myself fun. I just do them because I have to do them. But if someone else can do it for me, I will gladly take the help. I will gladly take the money. Okay. Anyway, forget all of that banter, right? What I'm trying to say is that a lot of marriages are going to end in divorce. So women need to be prepared for it, okay? Like, don't be saying, God forbid. It is the same way we all prepare for, you know, or most of us try to prepare for unforeseen circumstances in our lives, okay? So you have a job, you're preparing for, oh, in case of job loss, how am I going to cope? How am I going to, you know, uh, um, fall back on my, uh, you know, get back on my feet? How am I going to continue sustaining myself if I lose my job? In case of death of a partner, in case of your own death, how, you know, your family is going to keep, you know, we prepare for all these unforeseen circumstances. We ha all have all kinds of insurance. I believe that we should have divorce insurance have divorce insurance okay but aside having divorce insurance that you know will come into play whenever the divorce takes place i feel like a lot of women do not really plan for their future as an individual right women in general are always going to be emotional beings and i don't mean it in a bad way i don't mean like off the handle not having control of emotions kind of person i mean that things that are going to really matter to us are going to be things that you know are emotional in nature sentimental things you know your kids your family love life you know those things are always going to matter to women it has mattered to us from the beginning of the of the from the beginning of of time till date and it's still going to matter to us forever okay it is what it is it is who we are it is how we are okay so for me i feel like the way to combat that the way to really i won't call it combating i'm not trying to combat it but the way to just put things in place to make sure that you don't forget yourself is for you to have a robust plan for your life okay plan your life as a person without children without a husband without a family just as a person plan your life like that also plan for your husband and your, and your kids also plan for your you know family members your dad your mom your, also plan for them but make sure you have a concrete plan for your life like if i don't have kids tomorrow or if my kids you know leave me tomorrow and disown me tomorrow if my husband divorces me tomorrow if my husband leaves me if my husband dies tomorrow i have a plan for my life if you're not aware of the statistics let me just break it to you a lot of men leave their wives once their wives fall terminally ill okay even if it's not terminally ill once their wife falls like gravely ill like seriously ill a lot of men abandon their wives the reverse is not the case okay in the, in so many cases you see a man that has been sick for 14 years 15 years 17 years bedridden life support you know nothing he can't do no, he can't do shit for himself and you see his wife still stick by him you see his wife still try for him you see his wife literally not move on with her life because you know she has this husband that she's taking care of she doesn't want society to say she abandoned her husband in time of need she doesn't want her children to resent her for abandoning their father she doesn't want this and that the people to say that she will stick by this man's side to his last to his dying bed okay to his last breath even beyond okay his last breath and beyond you see a woman still sticking to her husband madam your husband has died okay unfortunately he's no longer in the picture you know one year two years four years has passed and you're still a young woman why don't you go and find a husband why don't you agree to some of the men that are coming coming your way why don't you find love why don't you find happiness why don't you move on with your life so many women don't want to move on so many women want to just stay there because oh i really love my husband my husband really tried for me when he was alive i don't want to break that you know I, I, I won't even call it trust because mine is no longer there but i don't want to break that like they feel like they're betraying their husbands by moving on it's so sad because the reverse is not the case when it comes to men a lot of men will move on quickly when i say quickly in fact he will move on with your nurse you see that your nurse that is taking care of you 247 your husband is going to move on with your nurse it doesn't even mean that he didn't like you or he hated you or it's because of your death it just means that that is the way men are wired they are wired to do what is practical for them most of the time okay so yeah because they're logical in nature they there's something that they just from logical angle okay my wife is sick she's most likely going to die i might as well just move on and find happiness somewhere else it is how they think they're not even trying to be malicious in many cases it's just they think it is right and they're going to go for it but women will start thinking and overthinking things okay so 
Just know that if anything happens to you tomorrow, your husband is most likely going to leave you, right? I'm not saying all husbands are going to do it, but I'm saying based on statistics, we don't know who, whose husband is going to leave who, but based on statistics, just know that you stand a high chance of being left by your husband. Are we, are we, am I making sense? Because I feel like I'm all over the place, but I'm, I'm getting somewhere, right? Just stick with me, ladies. Stick with me, sisters. I'm getting somewhere. A lot of women do not spend wisely. A lot of women are making money today, but they're not spending wisely, okay? And when I'm talking about making plans for your life, I'm always going to say this thing. I'm always going to stick by it. There are cases where there are women who decide to be stay-at-home moms because that is what's practical for their family at that point, okay? So as much as you decide to be a stay-at-home mom, it is not a bad thing by any stretch of the imagination. It is not a bad thing. But make sure that it is practical for you as a person. Make sure it benefits you again as a person. So what I mean is this. If you're married, for instance, to a billionaire and you know that he can take care of you, take care of your family, take care of your kids, and you don't have to work, then you don't have to work. Actually, if you don't want to work, then you don't want, you don't have to work, okay? But if you're not going to be working, make sure that you are getting enough money from this man to actually plan your future without having a job. Does that make sense? So when he's buying you gifts, he's buying you expensive gifts. Some women, their husbands don't give them like raw cash, but he's most likely going to buy you a lot of things, okay? While some of us, our husband would rather give us the money than buy us the things. Like, he'll be like, take the money and go and buy what you want, you know? But there are many husbands who prefer to buy the, their wives nice things but not give them the cash, okay? So whatever works in your family, whatever, whatever, however your relationship works, just make sure that you are saving for a rainy day, you are saving for your future. So if your husband buys you designer bags, designer shoes, designer this and that, and actually when he's not even keeping notes, taking note of them, my dear, go and sell some of them and carry the cash and keep it in the bank and, or go and invest the cash, okay? Um, yeah, or nice jewelry, he can't person that, oh, anything you want, he'll buy for you. Then go for high-end jewelry that has resale value. So diamonds and gold and like real diamonds, real gold that have a very good resale value. Go and get those things, okay? So be practical, think about it. If he doesn't give you money, but he gives you money for the home, he gives you money to buy things around the house, he gives you money to manage yourself well so that you can have some change to save, okay? Save for the rainy day. Don't be there saying, oh, I didn't say you don't have to work. I didn't say that being a stay at home is not a bad thing. So let me just be like that and you're broke and you're, and you're miserable. No, I'm saying what is practical for you, your family, okay? <laughs> I'm always going to put that disclaimer. What is practical for your family because we cannot all, not all, not everybody will have a job. That's just the truth. Not all moms, I'm talking about moms especially, because not all moms are going to have jobs at every point of their lives. There are times when women have to leave their jobs to take care of their homes. There are times when women, you know, can now go back and jump back into the workforce. There are times when women can down, um, downside, not downside, scale down you know their job so for instance you are doing so much in the office but now that you have kids you have to let some of, let go some of some of the jobs or let go some roles and take lesser less demanding roles and stuff like that okay so anyway all i'm trying to say is that motherhood has a way of limiting a woman's income or financial strength okay motherhood motherhood has a way of doing it in a lot of cases so whenever you are going through that phase in your life always plan for your future always you know, make sure that you are putting things in place that when you are no longer um, a stay-at-home mom or when you no longer your kids no longer need you as much, you can either jump back into the workforce or you can start a business or you can, you know, have money to trade and invest in, okay? But make sure you have money. So that is that about stay-at-home moms. Now, for working moms, the same thing applies, especially when you're a working mom and you don't have, like, a very, very high-end job, but you just have a good job that is doing, you know, enough for you. Don't be saying, ah, my husband is rich, my husband is this and that, so my money is my money, so let me go ahead and squander my money anyhow that I want. Hey, ego shock you, sister. It's gonna shock you. Like that man that you feel like his love of your life is everything to you, he can never, he worships the ground you walk on. It will shock you the way the man will turn on you real quick. Like it will shock you the way the man will turn on you real quick. Don't think that some of these women who are going through bitter divorces today, don't think that their own is different. Don't think that they were being stupid. Don't think that they, they were they were science everywhere and they didn't see the science. No, sometimes the signs were so subtle. In fact, the signs are even the same signs that you're seeing in your own marriage, but you're ignoring it because you feel like it's not a big deal, okay? So all I'm trying to say is that. Don't feel like your own is special. Or don't feel like your own is different. You know what you're doing and you're squandering your money. You're not saving. You're not investing. You don't have a concrete retirement plan. I keep referring to concrete retirement plan because 
it is very important that whenever you can no longer work you should have money that can sustain you as a person for the rest of your life irrespective of whether you have kids and a husband or not you should have money that can sustain you my dear sister because there are a lot of unforeseen circumstances that you know occur in life it is part of life but aside that you never really know how badly a man is going to turn on you when you guys are in a divorce okay you never can tell how messy a divorce can go you never can tell trust me you never can tell i have watched some people who went through a divorce and then things are happening either when they were trying to you know share their assets or you know fight for custody or you know fight for alimony and child support and things like that things turned badly as in things turned bad things turned even dangerous real quick right so in, in circumstances like that you don't want to be at the mercy of a man who now hates you you don't want it because he can he can go atomic <laughs> is that the english is that the word he can go haywire he can descend to the ends of the earth he can descend to hades eh to to someone of demons to deal with you so my dear sister look out for yourself oh i don't know why i'm sounding very pessimistic this morning but i've had this topic on my topic um, folder for a very long time i've had this topic i've always said i was going to do it as a collab but somehow i just changed my mind i said let me let me say things freely because whenever i'm doing a collab or someone's in the picture sometimes i don't say things the way i want to say it because i'm trying to listen to the person talk and i forget some things anyway my dear sisters please and please and please and please i'm not saying that your husband is a bad person no it, it doesn't mean that he's a bad person it doesn't even mean that if he is messy in a divorce he's a bad person it doesn't mean that it just means that he's hurt a man can be hurt a person even you yourself you can be hurt and out of your hurt and frustration you start doing things that you didn't even see yourself doing tomorrow okay you start seeing yourself doing things that you never in a million years thought you would do both of you start descending to levels that you never ever thought you will descend to so yeah while you are young you are hot you are rich you know and money is coming your way you know the men are still even if you're not married you know the men are still you know spending on you and all of that please save for a rainy day save for your future your money is not just your money to chop your money is your money to save for yourself okay your money is your money to even plan for your kids future because <laughs> i keep saying this thing you don't know tomorrow that man can even tell you that he doesn't want to have anything to do with his children because men can be heartless like that okay even women can can be like that too human beings can change be careful when you are doing joint assets hey <laughs> it's not you're, you're, you're so in love everything is mr and mrs you know this and that mr and mrs this and that let's join money together to start a business let's join money together to start a a a, a, a foundation let's join money together to start a like everything you want to do it together we're together forever you know love is shocking both of you and you guys are just doing everything joint 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 i'm not against joint business so i'm not against joint whatever but make sure that when you people are still googly eyes, when love is still shocking both of you, make sure that you put things in place that will help you when that love clear come off of your eye, okay? Make sure you are doing things legally. Make sure you are doing things clearly and specifically. Make sure things are stated well so that if anything happens, if you, you guys fall out of love, or maybe you change your mind, you guys might still be married tomorrow, but you, just, you don't want to do business with your husband again because it's causing issues. You want to separate, then make sure things are put in place that the separation or the you know sharing of assets and all of that are going to is going to go amicably. Especially if you are in Nigeria, because trust me, Nigeria favors. I'm saying Nigeria does not even favor women. It actually favors whoever has the most money. That's just the truth. Okay, it's not really a man-woman thing. It favors whoever has the most money. I don't know I'm clapping, 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 <laughs> but seriously, it favors whoever has the most money. So if you have a lot of money to fight your husband, you will win. If he has more money to fight you, he's going to win. That's how our judiciary system is. It is very messed up. Yes, it is not right. It is not fair, but it is what it is, okay? These things have been like that for years and years, and you are not about to stop it, okay? People that are bigger than you, stronger than you have tried to stop it, but you're not about to stop it now. So just secure your bag first with one hand right and then punch the other hand okay so yes what we're pushing for reforms we're pushing for a change we're pushing for you know things to get better 
Secure your bag, sister, with one hand. Tighten it very well. Put them inside your armpits. Put them between your legs. And then punch with the other hand, okay? Don't drop your bag on the floor and be trying to punch Nigeria with two hands because they will take your money from you and you still will not win. Okay? You still will not win. So... I'm just telling people now, uh, the fire on the mountain. There's fire on the mountain because I've heard so many stories of women who are going through hard times who shouldn't be going through those hard times. But because they didn't plan for themselves, because they did not, you know, put things in place, they did not secure their own bags, now they are now falling by the wayside. I, I'm still going to always reiterate that even women who are working, who, even women who are earning millions of naira today and dollars are not securing their own bags, right? They are earning money, they are spending it on wisely, they are spending it anyhow, they are buying the latest, this, latest, that, okay? Or they are giving man their money, or they are making very dumb investment decisions because they don't want to take their time to be patient and learn the right things to invest their money in or the right people to invest their money with. Some women are giving all their money to their husbands, some women are doing joint business with their businesses with their husbands, some women are investing in their husbands' businesses, and this man is just collecting your money and chopping your money and waiting for the day you ask him for the money, and then everything casala will bust, things will go, you know, south real quick. Another thing some women don't even know is that your husband, not your husband that you're married to now, all of you are posing on Instagram, you know, snapping pictures, you're on social media, you're peppering the rest of the world, you know, you're you are all about, you know, yourselves, everywhere people go, people are like hailing you, you know, people see you as, oh my god, I love their love, you know, people want to be like you, men want to be you, <laughs> you know how they say those things, you know, women want to be you, men want to date you, those kind of things, yeah, while it is still happening, my dear sister, it will shock you that in your husband's mind, he knows that he's going to divorce you, like he knows for a fact that he's not going to be with you forever. But you don't know, you're there smiling, shining teeth, answering Iyawo, answering Mrs. This, answering, you know, the love of his life. But this man knows that he's going to divorce you. In fact, this man already has a family elsewhere. He already has backup family. In fact, he has a backup to his backup family, right? There are men like that. So while you are head over heels in love, just have it at the back of your head somewhere that things can go south and that this man might actually be planning to leave you in the future. Some men want to leave you, but they're waiting for money to come. They are waiting to hammer the hammer. Once they hammer that hammer, they're going to leave you. A lot of men are waiting for, you know, their kids to grow. They want a, a united family for their kids to grow. And once the kids are out of the house, they're going to divorce you. Okay? A lot of men are waiting for the right time to introduce you to their other wives. <laughs> See, yeah, there are things that are happening, you know, crazy things are happening. A lot of crazy things are happening in this life. We all pray it is not us, it's going to happen to. We all think that our own situation is different. We all think that, yes, our husband's love and all of that is a good thing to think. Like I said, I love love, okay? So I'm not one of those people that, personally, I believe I'm going to be married forever. I believe that me and my husband are meant for each other and all of that. But that being said, we don't know who the 20% are going to be, okay? We don't know who the 20% is. Their names are not written somewhere. Make sure that you are good on all sides. And if tomorrow you don't divorce your husband, which I don't pray happens to anybody, tomorrow you don't divorce your husband, nothing spoil, nothing lose, okay? You, don't, you didn't lose anything, you didn't spoil anything. You just have more money to bring to the table, you know? In the future, you have a more happier, you know, relationship in the future because at that point, you're not even depending on him, you're not depending on you. Like, you both have your each together but you're just choosing to remain with each other and you know build a happier life with each other and just spend the rest of your life and your last days on earth together okay so if you put all these things in place and nothing happens to your marriage you have nothing to lose but if you don't put all these things in place and something happens to your marriage you're gonna cry for the rest of your life and you might even die early okay, so don't be living anyhow now doing things anyhow thinking that uh, even if i fall sick into you might fall sick tomorrow the man will leave you your children don't have time for you family members are nowhere to be found you will just be lonely okay but in in men's cases it's usually not like that so uh yeah let me stop getting too bleak with this talk okay um thank you so much for watching let me know what you think in the comment section and i'll see you in my next video trust me you're going to like my next video bye guys